right, I think we can get started. Welcome. I would first like to say welcome to our students who we honor here tonight. I know your families are so excited to be seeing you on the screen. So at this time, if you wanna to wave to your families, I'll give you another chance to acknowledge your families. Welcome to our students who we honor on this evening. Welcome to our academic leadership, Dr. Byerly, who is here with us tonight. Our dental hygiene faculty, Shannon Mitchell, Jen Harmon, <laughs> Beth Cornegie, Tiffany White, and Roxanne D'Souza. Welcome to our staff who is here with us tonight, Ms. Laura Arnellis. Our white coat ceremony team, Chris, Amalia, Megan, Tarl, Laura, thank you. They have helped us to make all of the puzzles fit for tonight. I wanna welcome all our loved ones who are joining us on the camera here. Our student support system, the families, parents, siblings, spouses, significant others, children and friends, um, welcome to this virtual event. You can give them a round of applause for their support. It gives me great pleasure to stand before you to celebrate our students receiving their white coats this evening. The white coat ceremony is symbolic of our transition from preclinical education to clinical education, providing care for our patients. We know that our students count it a privilege and honor to serve their community by providing oral health care for citizens of North Carolina and elsewhere. They truly embody our mission of empowering lives through better health. We have watched our students grow in just the few months that they have been involved in patient care, advocating for patients, having the courage and confidence to take the first step in applying all that you have learned and all that you are learning in your courses and making sure that you connect all of those dots. I can go on and on about how proud I am of you all. I think I'm getting like Ms. Mitchell, I might get misty. <laughs> You are so deserving and you, you do deserve tonight to receive your white coats. I'm sure as we have our other speakers here tonight, we'll talk about how your journey is much different than anyone's journey that we have experienced before. But in closing, I want you all to enjoy this moment and soak it in, know that you are deserving and know that we believe in you and we will be here to support you every step of the way we have a little bit of time to go, and so we're going to be your little support trains pushing you through all the way to the end. So congratulations and for tonight, and our next speaker will be, someone help me out because I did not bring my little program. Thank you. Emma Nunn will have our student address. So welcome, Emma. Okay, thank you, Professor Sams. Welcome, everyone. I would like to thank our academic leadership for being here this evening, especially Dean Byerly, Dr. Susan, and Professor Sams. Our professors, my colleagues, and our family and friends who are joining us virtually tonight to celebrate as we receive our white coats. I would also like to thank the many people behind the scenes that have made it possible for us to share this joyous occasion with our loved ones. Hi. My name is Emma Nunn, and it has been an honor to serve as the class president of the dental hygiene class of 2022 at the Adams School of Dentistry. This has, without a doubt, been quite a remarkable experience. We started this semester as strangers and have quickly become a family. We have been there for each other on the tough days and have been there for each other to celebrate major milestones. From holding our instruments for the first time to celebrating our first patient appointment, I could not have asked for a better group of classmates. 
Our time spent here at the Adams School of Dentistry has been unlike any before us. We started this program months into the pandemic and have learned quickly to adapt with the help of our amazing faculty. Our faculty have done a monumental job in pivoting due to the pandemic in providing extensive learning opportunities as science developed around us. Our faculty have given us far more than a textbook ever could. From life lessons, personal struggles, words of encouragement when we didn't think we'd make it to the end of the week, our professors have advocated for us and welcomed us into their personal lives. Without their constant presence and support, I don't know where we would be. So thank you from all of us. As we move forward, finishing our first year as dental hygiene students, I want to encourage everyone to continue their commitment to our profession, continue their personal development and continue their scholastic growth. Maya Angelou once said, we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. Thank you. <laughs> Our next speaker tonight is Professor Shannon Mitchell with our words of wisdom, reflection, and encouragement. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. So I thought I wouldn't get emotional, but you know me. <laughs> There's gonna be a tear somewhere in here. Anyway, uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Mitchell, a faculty member who's had the honor of being a clinical course director and of course director for the last nine months uh, for the class of 2022. I want to welcome you to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the Adams School of Dentistry. This day represents a student's transition from the preclinical setting into clinical patient care. Students are already are ready to pledge their service to their patients and their profession. This has not been an easy journey due to the COVID or the COVID pandemic. He started in a classroom with traditional face-to-face -face instruction and then almost immediately went to online remote instruction. Thank goodness for the laboratory time we got to spend together learning all about patient care and all about each other. Traditionally, we would have had this ceremony just prior to you seeing your first patients. However, this did not happen due to the COVID. But today represents an honor and a privilege. A privilege to provide care to others, to make an impact on the quality of their patients' lives, to help them improve their oral health and the overall health, and the privilege to work in, well, what a lot of us consider best profession in the world. Today, as they don their white coats, marks only the beginning of where this profession can take them. We take the students' education very seriously at UNC. We strive to provide students with the best education and professional preparation as possible. They are part of our Carolina family, and as such, we intend to teach them with the highest standards of excellence. Again, this has not been an easy uh, path for this class. Okay, okay. This class has shown the most resiliency of any other that I've had the honor of teaching and more over the many years I've been here at the School of Dentistry. Continue to put your best professional self in front of your patients and provide the highest standards of patient care. And finally, this is just kind of a former program director. We always have to take the family. So thank you all, parents, spouses, sisters, brothers, children, grandparents, friends, and others who have supported and have come here today virtually. We know that you've nurtured and encouraged these students to pursue dental hygiene. Um, and we know they would not be here without your influence. Thank you. That's joyous. Um, I'm Julie Byerly, and I have the pleasure of serving as your interim dean for the Adams School of Dentistry. And it's my honor to get to be here with you tonight. And it's certainly our honor to have these many guests with us virtually celebrating with you. Tonight at your white coat ceremony, you get the honor of earning your uniform for your work. And 
You should be proud of that uniform, that white coat that signifies your expertise in the science and your commitment to the service of care for patients. You should be very proud as we are of you when you wear that white coat and you should celebrate the professional standards to which you're held in that uniform. But what comes to you in your profession doing things that are meaningful to you, making a difference with your time and talents is really not about your uniform or your title. Joy and meaning in your career will come from using the skills and opportunities that you have to find joy through your work in something that makes you proud where you make a difference to others. And I'm really excited that each of you has chosen dental hygiene for that career. When I think about the difference that you'll make, I think about the skills that you bring. You each bring manual dexterity, truthfully manual dexterity that I personally don't have. And I think that um, you should be proud of what you can accomplish with your hands and the work of your hands. You know, I hope that over your career, as your hands age, as mine have done, you will watch your hands and see in them the skill and service that you bring to others. That skill of your hands is blended with your skills in science and then those important interactions with patients where you calm patients who are going to be afraid and nervous, where you serve the vulnerable and you provide for them confidence, knowledge, and in bolster of their self-esteem. Those are skills that you bring to the work that you will do. I hope that in the bringing of those skills into the service of others, you'll find joy because I can promise you there is real joy when you reflect back on what you are giving in your profession. I hope that you'll enjoy that service to patients, but I know you will enjoy working with your colleagues. I mean, look at this group of people and how much fun that they have working together. The joy of serving on a team as you will do in your chosen profession is one that you should cherish. And then you should be proud because you're making a difference in service to others. And, and I hope that as you don this uniform, you're proud. And as you um, accomplish what I hope for many of you will be a very long career, you will have pride in the work that you have chosen to do as you should. And then the difference that you will make, the purpose of your career. You've chosen a career that is about treatment and about prevention. And one thing that's challenging about a career in prevention is you don't always get to see what would happen if you would have not changed the course of disease or condition. And so as we celebrate the work that we do in oral health around prevention, remind yourself regularly of what would happen without your services and about the difference that you make in the way that you use your science to be of service. Celebrate that identity, celebrate your uniform, celebrate our pride in you and enjoy a career where you get to make a difference. We're really proud of you. Hey, my youngins. So unlike Professor Mitchell, I, I did not prepare a very formal thing, but you guys know I'm not very formal. And I just am going to talk to you from my heart and speak for my soul and just have a little chat with you guys before we wrap this up and you actually get to have your white coat. Um, thank you to all the speakers in front of me and thank you to all of those who are joining us virtually. I just want to say it has been a pleasure to teach you in dental anatomy. It has been a pleasure to work with Professor Mitchell in your preclinical courses. And it has been such a pleasure to teach you as the first year clinic director. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry too, man. Man, some, man, it just gets you sometimes. 
Um, I can think back, and I think it's always nice. I think it's really great to have a moment of reflection. So I just want you to take a moment and think about when you first got accepted into the dental hygiene program and what did you feel? What did you feel? You've probably felt joy. I love that word. You felt happiness. You felt a little bit of anxiety. All of you are type A. You're here for a reason. But when you step foot into your first lab, you didn't know what an adult prophylaxis was. You had never heard the term periodontal maintenance, at least not really as a professional. And now it is such a joy to be able to see you completing those procedures yourself as a clinician. You're doing adult prophylaxis with real people, not on each other, not on Dexters and mannequins, but you are helping people of our community in the state of North Carolina. And I have no doubt that throughout the rest of this semester and particularly during your second year, you're going to grow leaps and bounds and you're going to graduate as a dental hygienist and you're gonna go out into the world, whether it's here in our local community or whether it's at a different state or even out of the country. And you're going to be able to be, just serve so many people. Not only will you change their oral health, you will also impact their overall health. And I think that's great that we actually get to touch patients' lives like that. I also wanna encourage you to take a leap of faith. If you don't know right now that you wanna stay in clinical dental hygiene, that's okay. There are so many routes that you can make a difference in. Some of you may go on to dental school. Some of you may go on to graduate school and get a different degree. Some of you may become educators like all of us. Some of you may aspire to have your own TV show like me and be a public speaker. Whatever you do, I have no doubt that this group of women and man are going to be able to change the world in such a positive light. And I wanted to go back to what Ms. Mitchell says before I wrap it up. You guys really have been through what no other class has been through before. You can kind of relate with your DH2 bigs for sure, but you guys really have known Zoom University and you've only really seen each other when you've been either in the clinic or in a laboratory space and you've missed out on a lot. And I want you to know that we understand that. And we really hope that next year there can be some brighter spots in your student career. But for now, I hope that you can relish in this day. I hope that you can just give thanks with each other, but also with whoever is on the call today, whether it's with mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, siblings, significant others. I hope that you can go and have a moment to celebrate with them, whether it be tonight or later on this week. Take a moment to really feel proud in what you've done because you've come a really long way and I'm so proud to be your teacher. I love you all. Thank you to our speakers for those words of encouragement. We'll now have our donning of our white coat and our first person to receive their coat tonight is Ms. Laura Rudman. Thank you. Will the first row please rise?
Ezra Abdallah. Morgan Anderson. Anna Casadante. Haley Claiborne. Will the next row please rise? Leticia Cruz. Sienna Dodson. <laughs> Samantha Dominguez. Nikki Lynn Driver. <laughs> Reza Espana. Will the next row please rise? Halen Evans. Abby Falk.
Brianni Green. Cheyenne Lewis. <laughs> Karina Loretto. Taylor Mason. Will the next row please rise? Emma Nunn. Morgan Odendahl. <laughs> Nolan Presley. Lillian Redhouse. Will the next row please rise? Amber Scott. Anna Center. <laughs> Milana Tarak. Nancy Bang.
Congratulations, everyone. We will now have the reciting of oath and class commitment. Our next speaker will be Haley Claiborne. Will the class please ride for the dental hygienist pledge. As dental hygienists, we are a community of professionals devoted to the prevention of disease and the promotion and improvement of the public's health. We are preventative oral and health professionals who provide educational, clinical, and therapeutic services to the public. We strive to live meaningful, productive, satisfying lives that simultaneously serve us, our profession, and our society, and the world. Our actions, behaviors, and attitude are consistent with our commitment to public service. We endorse and incorporate the code into our daily lives. Now for our class commitment. We, the class of 2022, commit ourselves today to promote and implement the best oral care to the public. On behalf of the UNC Adams School of Dentistry, it is with great pride that we will uphold the professional standards of dental hygiene to better serve our community. We will now have our moment of reflection by our class historian, Taylor Mason. My name is Taylor and I'm our class's historian and now I will present to you our class slideshow. Enjoy.
Hi, um, I just want to say that every single hygienist that in our group this year has been so personable and so willing to jump in. Team um, attitude and um, I couldn't ask for better notes in charts so that it makes it easy for me to take care of people. So kudos to all the hygienists and I appreciate all of your help. Hello, Hygiene Class of 2022. This is Ms. Kim. And I hopefully you're not too shocked at seeing my whole face with no mask on for the first time ever. Uh, just wanted to share one memory that I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. Nancy. Nancy calling me Miss Chen for the longest time. And to the point where I think I was questioning my own last name. But that's okay. That's definitely going to be a memory I'm going to cherish for a very long time. So I just want to extend a huge congratulations on your white coat ceremony. So celebrate it well, and I'll be seeing you guys around. Hey guys, Miss Harmon here. I just want to say how lucky I am to be able to teach you. Um, excuse these lines, by the way. But um, I just want to say how lucky I am to teach you and how proud I am of your class specifically. You guys have been learners in a pandemic and you are Zoom fatigued. You like literally go to Zoom school. I'm so glad that you guys are making progress with all of your patient care. I know that it's overwhelming and what a balance it is to still have to do patient care plus quizzes, exams and courses and studying. You guys have come a long way and I'm so honored to be your teacher and your first year clinic director. And I just can't wait to see where all of this career takes you. And I know you're going to be able to get through exams. You're going to be able to have a nice summer and we're going to come back. And I'm really crossing my fingers that next year is going to be a little bit more normal. But no, I love y'all and y'all made the world to me. And we will now hear a closing remark from Professor Sams. That was wonderful. I enjoyed that. I hope you all did too. Um, your families were able to see that and hear it. So they got to enjoy that moment with us. If we can, before we close, just put our families back on our screen so that our students can see their support system. Families, you can keep waving. We're still going through the galleries. <laughs> keep waving. We're seeing you. <laughs> So much for joining us tonight virtually. I'm so glad that this event could be possible um, for our students. So in closing, we'd like to say thank you to our families and just congratulations and just we just we're so proud of you students. And so that's it. That's 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 the event. You can wave at your families and and say good night. We'll end on our students waving at their family saying good night. That is just, that's amazing. This is the side of Zoom we love, right? <laughs> that concludes our evening. Um, students, remember, we're going to take a class portrait, and so we'll exit um, down out this way, and we'll give you direction. Um, once you get outside the room. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank all of our faculty and academic leadership and our 
support the team here tonight. Thank you.